Today for your trending weather story of the day, we are talking about Tropical Storm Nicole currently uh, with our 4 p.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center. Uh, it is still a tropical storm, winds of 70 miles per hour. That category one strength is 74 miles per hour, so just below it. But uh, just because this is a tropical storm uh, does not mean it should not be taken seriously. The wind extent is very impressive here, and it's been driving uh, water here. You can see in the Bahamas, uh, it's a very, very impressive sight. This is one wave uh, here actually crashed onto a bunch of cars actually uh, moving a few parked cars as well and this will be more of the scene as we head towards tonight especially that coastal Florida uh, location where we are expecting uh, impacts here and as well that Artemis launch kind of been a meme all over uh, everywhere now on its third relaunch of uh, this season now scheduled to be uh, November 16th now being moved obviously uh, with the uh, hurricane impending there uh, towards Florida Space Coast take a look now at the cone uh, uh, we are expecting this to become a category one storm before making landfall, uh, but either way, it's certainly going to have the same effects. You can just see the wind field all the way from uh, Myrtle Beach in South Carolina down towards uh, southern portions of Miami uh, County down there as well. So very impressive. All this red here. These are all hurricane warnings, Bahamas, as well as that uh, eastern coast of Florida and then tropical storm warnings here in the blue, stretching all the way up towards uh, that extent of the wind up towards uh, South Carolina. Taking a look now at the rainfall, not expecting to too much rain and luckily it's moving relatively fast, but two to four inches uh, could be possible as well as uh, some isolated amounts up towards six. And we're also including that two to four inch band as well because we'll be seeing Nicole move on up. Uh, we are expecting a lot of moisture coming in here uh, from that storm, but just the magnitude of the wind field here. You can see all of this purple coloring is where we're expecting to see tropical storm force winds tonight. So if you know someone down in Florida, especially that eastern coastline, feel free. Uh, you definitely should be giving them a ring. Okay, and e what, Ian? Yep, Ian, luckily it was on the West Coast, so they didn't see quite the same uh, right. effects there, but certainly the state mm. as a whole exactly. is just still reeling. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's all, it's funny too how weather's connected, how we're gonna get uh, a chunk of that in right. the next few days. AJ, 